Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. The recent Bad Batch episode, Rampage, saw Clone Force 99 travel to Ord Mantell in search of a former Jedi informant Echo knew of by the name of Sid. Once they found the Trandoshan informant, Sid offered to provide the Bad Batch with information on Fennec Shand, as well as credits, in exchange for Clone Force 99's assistance in rescuing a young Rancor stolen by Zagirian slavers named Muchi. After the successful job, Sid paid the Bad Batch 30% of the profits from rescuing Muchi and revealed that Shand was an up-and-coming bounty Bounty Hunter, whom Sid's sources in the Bounty Hunters Guild stated had been hired for the job on commission. Moving forward, the Trandoshan may be the link that connects the Bad Batch to the Galactic Underworld, providing the enhanced clones with intel and work. With that said, can the Bad Batch trust Sid? For now, I don't think the Bad Batch has much of a choice. We know that, prior to them meeting up with Sid, Clone Force 99 was low on credits, provisions, and resources. Without a means to earn some credits, the Bad Batch might have quickly found themselves in a sticky situation especially since they're now on an Imperial Wanted list and someone has dispatched Fennec Shand and possibly other bounty hunters to find and capture Omega. They've got few choices and Sid provides them with an opportunity to put their skills to use and earn some credits along the way. With that said, it was made very clear that she doesn't care about the Bad Batch or anyone other than herself. Sid seems to only concern herself with money, being it from her cantina called Sid's Parlor or in her dealings with the criminal underworld, and that's just not someone that can be trusted. I think we're going to possibly see Sid provide the Bad Batch with jobs and or connect them to others that can offer them mercenary work. However, once an opportunity arises for Sid to earn some credits by leading either the Empire or Bounty Hunters in the Bad Batch's direction, she probably won't hesitate to sell them out. At some point, especially if the series is only going to be one season, Crosshair and the Empire will catch up with Clone Force 99 and catch them, and Sid seems like the likely individual to point the Empire in the right direction. I mean, she was an informant for the the Republic after all. And if she doesn't mind working with criminals, such as those within the Hut Cartel, what's to stop her from ratting out the Bad Batch to the Empire? So no, I don't think the Bad Batch can trust Sid, but with little choice, they'll have to for the time being. We just need to brace ourselves for the possibility that she might sell our homies out to the Empire or whomever hired Fennec Shand. I'm looking at you, Nalase, and Lama Su. For now, let's just hope that maybe Sid will have a soft spot for Omega, like all of us fans, preventing her from ratting out the Bad Batch. Batch. But what do you guys think? Do you think the Bad Batch can trust Sid? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.